Hi guys, welcome to my shed. I am testing the new resin that I'm going to be using. It's from Vista Resin and it's their Cascade product. Um, I have been... I've mixed everything prior to uh, coming on camera. Uh, it's probably taken me about 45 minutes to get all this ready um, because it is quite a big pour. It's 250 mils needed for, of resin for this pour. I'm doing a um, trinket tray. Um, so these are the colours that I've got. This is almost fluorescent. And this is it's in the Milton Crafts um, mica powder box um it, lots of colors came with it and this one is grass green okay then we've got apple green i'll link this all below that's quite a nice green then we've got white just a standard flat white made with pigment and this one is moss green this is my favorite i love this one okay so that is a nice deep green okay and then we have got silver white which is basically a shiny white it's not really silver but it's still nice you can see it's, very, it's got lovely uh, tint to it okay the first thing on the review is that this resin has not taken the color very well at all I've probably had to take, put in twice the amount of mica powder that I would normally use. And this white, I've had to put in nearly three quarters of a bottle of pigment to make it thick enough to, to actually go as white. And it's still not really thick enough. But if you keep adding liquid, you're going to throw off the uh, A to B ratio and it's just not going to set the resin. So I've just had to leave it like that for now. Okay, so I'm going to get cleaned up and get the mould set up and then come back to you. back again okay so this is my tray upside down to how i'm going to pour it so this is the trinket tray and these two holes here are for the antlers that i showed on a excess using excess resin and they will just fit in there so it's quite a uh, unique um tray so this is, is the, you can see it's 250 mils because i've tested it already so this is the pour side so I will get on and start pouring okay so I think I'm going to go for this fluorescent green first of all just to say that this resin does get hot this is feeling hot to my hands the last drop okay that's that one and then I think we'll go in with some silver I guess there's no right way of doing this you just have to do what you think is best on it and you'll never get the same pour twice excuse the dogs this was something really exciting happening outside okay i think i've got too much resin so i am going to go in with my darkest green It seems nearly full now. I think I did mix about 300 mils just in case. OK, 
I'm just doing half of that and then the other green that I've mixed up and I'm going to be doing a coaster pour directly after this so it doesn't matter that there's going to be some left over the board underneath it is so that I can move it into my extractor box because This would go everywhere because it's a large mould. Okay, so that is right up to the edge of the mould now. So obviously this is the base of the um, tray because you pour the mould upside down. Okay, so the reveal, I will probably leave this for two days because it is quite a deep pour. I don't want to pull it out and then find it still soft. So the reveal will be in a couple of days. Thanks guys.